technology tools for reflection. To prepare students for deeper learning and for going to the higher DOK levels, we need to encourage and cultivate thinking, not immediate instant response, but actual reflection. Today we will discuss three methods for building such capacity, and they are blogs, wikis, and microblogs. So, as you know, a blog is any web page with content organized according to date. It could be used as an online reflective journal. Now, this can be done with Google Sites, but you can start the students with paper. Yes, paper. The students can decorate their papers to reflect their interest as a web page might appear. Then they comment on a lesson or sports or news or favorite activities or food. A class activity would then involve students sharing their blogs with two or three others and using post-it notes to make comments to the others, a paper version of Twitter. You can get more details about this idea from McTeach. Secondly, wikis or collaborative web pages. This is a logical extension of blogs because it simply involves groups writing, encouraging students to gasp, work together writing and thinking. Wikispaces gives you an example of that. And again, Google Sites could be used because every employer in the country says we want people who can work and think together. Finally, the third one, interactive microblogging, or Twitter, basically. Microblogging is a form of multimedia blogging that allows users to send brief text updates or photos or audio clips as well and publish them, either to be viewed by anyone or by a restricted group. The most popular, of course, is Twitter, where you're restricted to 140 characters. Users microblog about particular topics that can range from simple to the thematic, such as sports cars or business topics. Many microblogs provide short commentary, share news, advertise, or provide logs of the events in your life. A learner could use these short messages to document the learning process. Here are some potential prompts for these micro reflections. Number one, one thing I noticed during this lesson or activity or field trip was, or number two, something I thought interesting was, or number three, I was confused when. These three ways to cultivate thinking and writing can be enjoyable for students as well as being a learning experience. Believe it.